Hi guys, welcome to the video. This is my triple bow solo master nightfall on the arms dealer. Now, triple bow, eh, how, how are we really going to do that? Because bows aren't champion, don't have any champion mods this season. Well, Leviathan's Breath has Intrinsic Unstoppable. And the Sentinel Exotic Gauntlets, or the Titan Exotic Gauntlets for the Sentinel, the second chance, make them give you a second melee charge and make them anti-barrier. So that's both the champions taken care of. I'm using Strident Whistle and Biting Winds as my other two bows. Strident Whistle, obviously, I have Explosive Payload and it's Solar and Arm Steel has 25% extra Solar damage. I went with Radiant Orbs on the class item and I have Solar Siphon on my helmet. So I will produce Orbs on Solar Double Kills and when I pick up an Orb, I'll become Radiant for 10 seconds. I will also become Charged with Light and I have High Energy Fire on my chest plate. And basically, High Energy Fire and Radiance do stack. So you get somewhere along the lines of 25% extra on top of your damage from Radiance. And then you get a further 20% extra for uh, High Energy Fire. They do stack. So basically what we're going to be doing in this run is uh, the Unstoppables, they're going to take care of themselves. And you can see here how much damage Leviathan's Breath does against champions. It is... Jesus, on a Void Burn, Leviathan's breath, is, Leviathan's breath is back on the table. Now you'll see here, throw the shield, get the break, and then, really, that is a massive amount of damage from a bow on a champion. So, with the, let, let me just explain how the shield works. The shield works like you're throwing a frisbee. So you throw it, and the further it goes, it starts to lower and lower. It doesn't, it, it's not a straight shot. It, if you're throwing... From any length, any distance, you've got to throw it slightly higher than where you want it to hit because it will lose uh, height as it's going. See here again. Now, bearing in mind, this is a solar burn nightfall. If this was a void burn nightfall, we'd also be getting the additional 25% from void. Just an ins really is back on the table as a heavy and with it holding intrinsically 15 rounds it's a better option than maybe the Galahorn except the Galahorn can double as add clearing and if you're a little bit worried about your aim then that's why you would use Galahorn Leviathan's Breath I don't think I've ever used I have the Catalyst which uh, increases I think makes the draw time faster and it's just I, can't, I couldn't believe how good it was so the modifiers in the master change every day. Now, there's a set of re uh, rotating uh, uh, master uh, modifiers. What I plan on doing as much as possible is doing a run on the nightfall for each modifier. Now, that would be cool. I'll maybe, you know, do, do my normal run. Then I'll do the feature run. And then I might even do a challenge run each week. That gives me a reason now to run the Nightfall so many times. So here we go. We're just going to get an Unstoppable now. If there are any ads around, the Revitalizing Blast will take take care of any other ads next to the Unstoppable. You see the orbs dropping on the double kills. Now, because we're using Strident Whistle Explosive Payload, it adds the, the, the modifier this this today adds a burn. You see how much that is just incredible damage. Incredible damage. We've got the, we've got this big big elite over on the right. Now I've got tons of heavy line about. Oh, there's still a guy down here. Uh again running void made me realise that with solar uh being so strong we've kinda just forgot about how good void is. Void is very good. You don't need to have classy restoration, especially on the Titan. Just pick up that orb. Uh, because the shield gives you a, a replenishable overshield, which is kind of just as good. So what I've done is I've picked up the orb. I'll just throw a shield here. I'm almost trying to preempt the shield throw. Uh, so that the, the, the because barrier champions regen their shield really quickly when they when they uh, when they start to proc their shield generation they, they they get their shield back pretty fast so I'm trying to I'm trying to preempt them them putting their shield so basically one shot from from Leviathan's breath will make the champion want to shield so I'm kind of preempting that I'm also trying to keep refreshing my 
this orb you can see bottom, bottom just right of the center you'll see the orb timer there when it gets to full uh, it will disappear and go back to meaning I'll have to go back and get it so every time you pick it up you refresh that orb now I've took out the ship I've took out the dogs I took out the first barrier only one barrier spawned to start with because I uh, there we go now. See how I tried to preempt that, and and I really didn't need a second Leviathan's breath shot. Uh, only one champion propped because I picked the orb up and then left it. And if you do that, you'll only get one barrier champion. And then when you pick the orb up and bring it back with the ships, you'll get the dogs and the other barrier champion. So slamming the orb normally kills any all the dogs that are left behind. But this dog jumped, so he was out of the blast radius. Now I'll throw my Throw my grenade, clear those ads. We've also got a barrier and an elite that will come from the top. If you can stop the, the the unstoppable quick enough, that will kill that honored legionary. Uh, but we're, we're not really too bothered about that. I have got another brick of heavy, I believe, so I will use a second shot. And you see there, it's just massive damage. We'll go and get this set, this last brick. It's down here when the dogs dropped it. These dogs are always kind of good for heavy. You'll always get. Nearly always. I don't want to say, without a shadow of a doubt, you will always get a brick of heavy because it's it's like a 85% 80, chance. I've almost it's all oh, it is very dependable. Uh, I've noticed that heavy will almost certainly drop from the same locations in each run. You know, you you you, you know you do stand the chance of getting a little bit of an extra drop here and there. You know, sometimes these. Uh, these legionaries down the bottom sometimes they'll drop a heavy brick just take that sniper got to remember even though you're doing more solar damage you are taking 25 percent uh, you are taking 50 percent more solar damage even though you're dealing 25 percent so you still got to be careful when the snipers about because they'll sting uh all mods uh, all mods that i'm using you can look at the start i think i think on the, my gauntlets i've got impact induction so when I, when I, because we want to make sure we've always got uh, shield, uh, uh, shields to break the anti, to break the barriers uh, shield. So when I cause damage with my grenade, I, I get melee back. Now, because we've got to get closer because of the shield, I can't just do it, go my normal route across the bridge. So I'm going here. Now, what I'm normally, what I do is I'll take out this champion. You see, now I'm really close to him. So the shield will... Just trying to wait for him a ton so I can get that crit. You see there, that's 80 odd thousand damage with the bow. So one more shot, but I've got... Normally what I do here, once I take the champion out, if I haven't got a lot of heavy, I'll then kill some of the adds and try and get another brick to drop. But I've still I've got 13 shots, we can just go. Now, the tanks. Normally, now I've noticed it's six and a half a dozen. Normally... Two shots kills the tank. It didn't this time. But normally it does. If I'd have fired a third shot, it might have, but I'm using the Strident, Strident Whistle's uh, solar, uh, the, the, the Nightfall modifier, which the Strident Whistle is, is, is activating, as solar kills cause the target, solar damage causes the target to burn. And I'm using that on the tank. And I'm just trying to save heavy because you can get into a situation with the bow, you are holding 15 shots, but you can get into a situation where, uh, you see there, taking a bit of damage, uh, you can get into a situation where uh, you're running out of heavy. So I'm just going to throw my grenade, that should break some of these void shields, just take some of them out while we're here. Now, now if you're lucky like that, the unstoppable will come, and then we can put something on the unstoppable. As you can see, the unstoppable is now almost dead. Now, there we go. There's, there goes the tank. Now, can I entice the unstoppable to come back and kill him? Yes, I can. Now, he's finishable. So, I'm not going to bother with anything else. I've got bricks of heavy here. So, as you can see, I've got, I've got an absolute ton of heavy. So, I can use my Leviathan's Breath now if I, if I choose to. A some avoid shield, so I'm just picking off these. Be very careful with these legionaries, right? Because they they do have a bad habit of running away, and you think you've cleared them all, and just one of them has just went. Now, nah, just 
I'll just wait till everybody else is dead and then I'll come out and just clear some of these, uh, well, the majority of these uh, legionaries. As I say, we've got this dude here, so just break his shield. There is one. I think there was one hiding at the back as well. Nope. Must have just been a normal legionary. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to go up here. I've picked up that orb, which has given me charge with light, and it's given me radiance. Yep, I thought there was one more. There he is. Oh, there's... So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go up onto the bridge here. There is another guy. I can just see him there. I'll put down my bar barricade. That gives me a little bit of cover. And then we go after one of the one of the ba one of the barriers. And you can see there the first Leviathan's bre breath shot I put on to the the first champion. I didn't have it fully fully propped, like it wasn't the perfect pull. But when it is the perfect pull, I used my Leviathan's breath to kill him there because I've got four bricks down here. You know, if I, if I hadn't, I would have just went and finished them. So let's see what we get from these two. There we go, we've got nine. So it's not worth my while taking another brick. Because we've got three unstoppables coming. Now you're going to see really the power of the Leviathan's Breath. So normally what I do, as you guys probably are aware, I'll act activate this console and then I'll go down and activate that one. But I want to be up here. You see there, there's one two and then I'm gonna put another one three shots will kill them so I'll get out my Leviathan's breath and now you're gonna see the power what the Leviathan's breath can actually do now that is literally two shots kill all three of the Leviathan the the, the unstoppables now there was the revitalizing blast as well but the the area of, of effect, it's kind of like an area in effect. It's not. It's 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 a blast that you get from it. It would done damage to each of them as well because they're so close together. Really, really good heavy. I I was when I decided to do this challenge again. I've said this a couple of times now. I decided it was. It's been almost like a meme on my chat on my stream channel for a while about doing the triple ball solo. And I've been wanting to give those gauntlets a go. So when it was brought up on stream the other day, I was like, okay, we'll give it a go. And for the first time since they've been saying it, my chat was like, uh, but you can't do it this season. <laughs> oh, yeah, I'm pretty sure i got it figured out. This wasn't the run I'd done on stream. The run I'd done on stream took a little bit longer. I think it was like 29 minutes. But that was the first time I'd ever done it. I figured I could do it faster. And as you can see, this is almost 10 minutes faster than that run. So, we've got full ammo. We want to finish this area with as much ammo as we can. Now, it's slightly different from using anti-barrier weapons. I, if I was using anti-barrier weapons, I would be able to take down the champions from distance. But, can't do that here because we're using a melee. Now, I lucked out a little bit on this run. You'll see that here. Even without the luck, the way, and I'll explain it as we're going, even without the luck, I could have done this run just as efficiently. But it just presented uh, an opportunity. Because one of the champions came closer than it normally does. One of the champions came here. So here comes the unstoppable. And what I'm going to do is I'm not going to use too many. I actually think I do, do put another unstoppable on them. So I should have just finished them to start with. But normally, or well, maybe I don't. Maybe I just whittle them down with the... the because of the burn... You see the burn just melting through him. Well, there he's finishable. There we go. So now what happened, I believe, if I remember rightly, is this, the, one of the barriers appears up top on this platform here. So I think I jump up here and then the barrier appears. Yep, there we go. So normally that barrier will be over on the other side. I won't normally have to deal with them. So I'm just going to put that barrier down there. And I've just, just to save myself, he's not normally there. So on your runs, he won't be there. So we'll take out these ads. Now, because you're running triple bow, normally uh, I won't have the problem of deciding what weapon I'm firing with. But I've, 
that I've just realized I've got my primary bow out. So I, I, you see there, what happened was, now that should just kill him. What happened was, uh, when you're running, and it's something to, it's something that is worthwhile, uh, ex uh, just elaborating on. If you're doing, if you decide, oh, I'm going to give that a go. Well, that looks quite cool. Just be careful about the bow that you're pulling out. Because plenty of times during this run and then doing other runs, I thought I pulled out my Leviathan's Breath and I didn't. I had maybe my primary or my energy. Now, on a normal run, what will happen is both champions will be closer to where that champion is up top, right? If, if it happens with you that that's, which is the correct way that it should happen, then what will happen is one will be up top, one will be down the bottom. You can still go what I'm going to go here, and it will give you cover. Because you've got your barricade as well. There's a scorpion turret. And we'll stop him. Now, I actually thought my first shot hadn't done enough damage, which is why I wasn't prepared for him. But I know that one has. And now I'll throw a disc. That stops him from regenerating. And I can go and finish. And I know I've got heavy back. You want to make sure you come out of this area with as much heavy as you can. So, you'll have seen a couple of times the barriers don't take a lot of damage from my shots. That's because the, the Leviathan's Breath has a real specific uh, draw time. It's a lot longer. And, and, and there is a kind of noise. You've got to wait until you've fully drawn the bow. There's another brick of heavy. We've got full heavy going up to the boss. So... What's going to happen now is I'm probably going to lose my Radiance by the time I do damage to the boss. But I will have Charge for Light. Which will give me that 20% extra against the boss. If there was a way I could keep my Radiance, you know, then, then I would. But I was worried that... So what I'm going to do is get some double kills here. Uh, if, you, if, if they stop running and hiding. There we go. I was worried that when the, the lift went, that that orb would go. So I left it and left it. Now the lift's going to go and I've picked it up. I've got 10 seconds of radiance. But I have charge with light, which will give me additional damage on the first shot. I'll also get my weapons of light, which is what, like 30%. So I've got charge with light. So my first shot will do 20% extra. So I just, I'm just waiting, get that headshot. 85,000. And what I'm going to do is, you need to take his first health bar off him before he goes up top. The great thing, and you'll notice this here, so I'm just going to back away, give myself some room, because there's going to be ads coming. He's still up there. Every time you crit him, every time you hit him, you see the, the, the concussive blast? It stuns him. It keeps him in place. Stops him from running. So I'm going to just get some weapons of light on the go here. Here he comes. And it also saves me from the ads that are at the side. See that concussive blast? It just stuns him. Now, I missed... I missed my last couple of shots there. Never got the crits, so I'm just going to make sure I get that up there. I'll put my grenade up. That should clear most of those guys there. And you can see I'm getting my overshield back. Now, the boss, because of the damage we've done, the boss has come back down, so I'm just going to try and get another shot on him. And that's the last. I have no more heavy. So we're just... Now we're just going to get a, a whole bunch of ads come around here. So you've got to be careful. Watch out, because we're going to get dogs. We're going to get lots of dogs. And we've got the ship. There's some heavy. Now, the ship is firing solar. But our bow will do tons of damage to the ship. So we're just going to take down this Thresher. I have a barricade should I need it. Uh, we should be fine. But just... Uh, if, if you feel like you're taking too much damage, just stick your barricade up. It'll give you your overshield like that. And there we go. And now I'm just going to go back to clearing these enemies. So the boss, basically... we. We've done that much damage to him with the bow in the first section. We've kind of skipped a section. 
he's went he went up to the platform that's up to our right and it just comes straight back down and went over to the other platform so when we get him down he'll we'll, he'll be what, what what we've got to do now is clear these ads then we're going to get the unstable core plant it and then that will be you know us against the boss till he dies more heavy i've always been a big fan of bows i love bows i think they i think they're a very good uh very good thing to have remember also uh because the boss has came down he's done his thing just check for scorpius turrets there we go there's there's those over there and then there'll be those in the middle now there are still dogs up the dogs do go go away and hide you see there and there's more dogs behind us they just come out of nowhere and there we go that 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 i think that's all the dogs now what i'm gonna do is go and get this unstable core once i get the core then uh i'm gonna drop it because the minute we pick this core up we're gonna get a drop pod so i'm gonna go up here a bit of a raised platform drop the orb i'm not bored if it goes i just want to clear these ads now we can clear these ads and you can clear the three ads that are going to be at at the where you're going to slam but what happened was uh you can see i'm clearing the two legionaries i couldn't get a proper shot on the other guy so i decided i'm not going to waste time trying to get a shot on him from here uh we're just going to go over he's a solar shielded uh is he a solar shielded legionary? I'll see when I aim at him. No, a centurion. Of course he's a centurion. You're playing it. Uh, so I'm just going to break him. What I'm going to do is just... I want to kill the boss. I don't I don't want the fight going on too long. I don't want to have to run away to... You know, but because I, I am going to have to run away. But I don't want to run away without doing any damage to him. So what I'm going to do is... I'm going to slam... Now, there was an orb there. I hope I've seen it in-game. Yes, I did. So, I've got Radiance and Charge with Light. And now, I'm going to put my barrier up. And now, what we're going to do is throw the grenade. And then, we're going to start putting it on them with what shots we have. We don't have a lot. Now, you can see there. That's the last. Let's get my, my weapons. And just put some shots on him now it's getting a bit hairy i think i get sniped here as well so what i'm going to do is go over here it gives me cover from the snipers put my barricade up just find out where, where the boss is and now i just keep putting the bow shots on you see he's burning even without the burn just hitting him with the bow shots get that eighty thousand damage would it will we'll kill him and then throw my grenade it's all good. There we go, guys. That is the Triple Bow Solo Master Nightfall. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope I properly demonstrated how good the Leviathan's Breath is. Just imagine how good it will be when it's a Void Burn with Unstoppable. Thanks a lot for watching. Again, I hope you enjoyed it. Uh, if you fancy doing these runs, then uh, good luck to you. Uh, if you enjoy watching these things pan out live, you can always go over and check out and support the stream channel, which is a suggested channel on this channel. Thanks a lot for watching. Take care of yourself, guys, and I will see you in the next run.